right, Shalom, Shalom, it's your brother Shamak, and I want to first start off by giving all the glory, infinite praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rechah Kadash, double honor to the Apostle Elders, Great Millstone, Teacher, we will, and obviously his tabernacle of David. Shalom to the hopeful elect that's giving diligence to make the call to shore across the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the few to say, Akwafim, sisters, that suggest to the truth in our sincerity. I just want to, I just want to go into this mockery, okay? And you see the date, May 5th, 2019. This is really just the mockery of the Lord, all right? The Christian church, the religion, all the traditions, the traditions of men and religions, okay, are mockery of, of Yahweh Bashmi al Shah, the true power in the sun, okay? But I just want to touch on this mockery just by the Christian church, man, Christianity. All right, it says, uh, just to go into the article, it says, Pastor arrested for selling tickets to heaven to members for $500, you know? That's that's his pure mockery right there, bro. Okay. Uh, a clergyman from Zimbabwe, Pastor Tito Watts and his wife Amanda were arrested for selling tickets to heaven to church members. According to Egypt Today, the police disclosed that his that he passed and his partner scammed several people into buying the tickets for five hundred dollars. All right. So that that's just that, that's, it says it was added that the ticket is to get people into heaven without facing judgments. The police further disclosed that Pastor Watts church members have called for the release of the man of God. Watts reportedly told those who sought salvation that the tickets were made from solid gold and each ticket reserved to buy a place in heaven. OK. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. But that's just pure mockery, you know. Because our Savior, our Savior who's going to deliver us, man, is Yahweh Shah. Okay? Deliver it, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? He's our deliverer. He's our Savior. And that's just pure mockery to think, you know, the audacity, you know, to trick people. And that's, and that's what that's what the uh, word mock goes into. Let's get there real quick. Uh, to mock, it says to make fun of. That's basically what you're doing. You're making fun of the Lord. Okay? Through your actions. You know? There's no way in hell that's sincere, man. You know? Uh, it says to trick, delude, make full of, treat and scorn. Okay, you, you, what was he doing? What was that Pastor Pastor Watts doing, man? He was tricking the people. Okay, and those are the people in, in the Christian church, man, really zombies, man. All right. It says to blow the nose, to mumble, grumble. Okay, mock. Okay, but I mean, I, it touched on the point. Okay, it it touched it touched on the point. All right. Get back to the article. All right. This is just pure market. And then you know him being arrested as well, man. That's 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 the slight judgment by Yahweh Bashmi al Shah. That's slight judgment. Okay? I'll get that real quick. That imprisonment. Okay, because it could be death. And it will be death. Ultimately. We understand it. It definitely will be death. Because you're not following the law's commandments. You're not teaching the truth according to the scriptures. And you're definitely not sincere. Alright? So this is uh first Ezra chapter eight verse twenty four. It says, Whosoever shall transgress the law of thy power and the end of thy king shall be punished diligently, whether it be by death or or other punishment, by penalty of money or by imprisonment. Okay? So he was definitely punished by penalty of money and imprisonment. Alright. <laughs> As we see here. And it's going to be by ne by death real soon. Because Yahweh Shmi Al Shah is not mocked. Alright. He is not mocked. All right, this is Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sowed, that shall he also reap. So whatever your actions, whatever you, whatever your judgment is, man, you deserve that judgment because of your actions, because of what you sowed. Okay, you're going to reap what you sow. That's why we're trying to do the right thing now. We're trying to repent, okay? While we can, we're trying to seek Yahweh by Shemiah Shah while he is near, as it, as it says in Isaiah. I, I want to say the 55th chapter, Okay? And you and you doing and the pastor doing this act, it's just pride. This is an example. This is just I'm just showing this example of pride, you know, the pride and arrogancy uh from the Christian church, man. The people are so prideful and money hungry, bro. All right. This is Job chapter uh four, verse 17. Shall mortal man be more just than, than the most high? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Than his maker? Okay, this man put put forth this act, is trying to put forth as he's more as he uh, um Trying to justify the people into getting to heaven, you basically trying to uh put forth your cause of you being more more pure than your maker, more pure than Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. Okay, but let me get the priest of Isaiah. You gonna bow down, bro? The pastor, the the, the entire congregation. 
everybody that believes in that believes in that those are traditions of men, okay. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter seventeen verse seven. It says, at that day shall a man look to his maker, and his eyes shall have shall, shall have respect to the Holy One of Israel. Okay? The one true power of who? The Israelites. The black Hispanic Native Americans, the Hebrew Israelites. Okay? He's only he's only for us. Okay, he only loves us, but his, we we understand his judgments as well. And two thirds of Israelites must die. We see as we as we be in this truth, as we uh progress in this truth on long and enduring this truth longer and longer, you see why the two thirds must get put to death. Because of acts like this. The mockery like this, you know. Let me go to Zephaniah. Zephaniah. Uh, oh, Salakia. True. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 10 and 11. I'll give you 11 too. It says, This shall have, Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 10, this shall they have for their pride, because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of the Lord of hosts. Okay, you magnify yourself just with this act. You coming against the gospel, the true gospel. You coming against the true man of the Lord. Okay, you didn't you didn't come directly, but this act itself. You know, you basically put forth the act like, no, this is this is it. This is the way. You know, I had I had the lie, I had the truth. Basically, you 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 skipping, even preaching to saying you I get you to heaven. Okay, you you basically trying to you take you trying to replace your high with shy. That might give you, boy, you might get a cruel death, you know. Death angels might be around you right as, a, as we speak, okay. This is very recent. This happened this month, May 5th, 2019. Verse 11, Yahweh will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and men shall worship him, everyone from his place, even all the isles of the heathen, okay. He's going he's gonna to kill off all the gods of this earth, these false idols, man, okay. And men shall worship the true power, Yahweh Bashem Shah. Just like we're doing right now. All right. And y'all people uh that's scoffing, you know, just the the spirits that's just not right or not even attempting to get right, man. You're a smoke uh in the Lord's nose. All right, as we get right here. Okay, this is this that's just pure hatred for you. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 5. We say, Stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. So people, the spirits just like uh Pastor Watts right here, okay. You are smoke in the Lord's nose all uh, every day, man, all day long. And I just want to get one account because it's important to read these accounts as well in the scriptures. I ended off with this account with uh, Alicia. He did a miracle, and the children were scoffing and mocking. You know, they were still scoffing and mocking. All right, this is uh. Let me get Second Kings chapter two verse twenty one, uh, verse twenty four. All right, <clears throat> this is Second Kings chapter two verse twenty one, and he went forth unto the spring of waters and cast the salt in there and said, "Thus saith Yahweh, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from the deeps any more death or barren land." Okay, because Elisha, it need, it need, he he had to cleanse the water. They couldn't. It wasn't able to drink. All right, verse twenty two. So the waters were healed unto this day according to the sand of Elisha which he spoke. See, Elisha followed after the acts of Elijah. All right. We go into the account. All right. He very both both uh had spiritual powers. You know, spiritual powers, which we will have as well. Okay, we will be able to put forth miracles as well. Which is gonna be beautiful. This is what this is what we seek for, man. We don't seek these vain riches and vain women and vain glory. And that's what because that's what that pastor was seeking. Vain, vain glory. You know, vain riches. It's not going to profit in the day of wrath, all right? Verse 23, and he went up from, from thence unto Bethel, and as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city and mocked him and said unto him, go up, that bald head, go up, that bald head. You know, they're mocking this, they're mocking this man. They're mocking this, they're mocking the prophet, the man of the, man, a man of the Lord, truly. Verse 24, he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of Yahweh. And there came forth two she-bears, out of the wood and tear forty and two children of them. Okay, he put a curse on them and it put the death forty two children. Simple as that. We're gonna be able to have those same spirit spiritual powers. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to put forth. We're gonna have to we're gonna be, we're gonna be able to put forth true action against these mockers and scoffers. Okay, that's why I brought out this account, which is account is, is truly beautiful. You know, we're gonna be able to put forth these same actions, man, which is gonna be beautiful. All right.
But that's all I wanted to touch on, okay? Just, just touch on that pride and arrogance of spirits being carried by the Christian church, by that by that traditional man, all right? This is your brother Shamak, and I'll end off by giving all the glory and the praise unto you. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, and Kakadash. Double honor to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone, who teach you real well. All right. Shalom. Peace, love, and safe to the whole few and their families. All right. And Shalom. Keep the faith. Mawafu Ball.